One of the biggest challenges of email is how to keep your email inbox and folders clean yet not get rid of the email you might need later. This video will give you a quick overview of using Office 365's archive feature to help you with this challenge. This video assumes your administrator has already turned on the archive feature for you. Basically think of archiving as setting an expiration date on your email. When that date happens, Office 365 will automatically move information from your normal mailbox into a special archive mailbox. This keeps your normal mailbox cleaner and easier to work with. It also means you can still find old information you might need in your archive mailbox. So the basic steps for archiving are, first, determine how old you want information to be before it's moved to your archive. Second, apply this time frame to your folders. And third, pick which folders you never want to archive. When your administrator is turned on archiving for you, you will see an additional mailbox in your Outlook folder tree. If you don't see your Outlook folder tree, just go up to the View menu, and under the Folder Pane button, drop it down and choose Normal. This will then show you the folders on the left-hand side of your screen. You can see here this is my normal mailbox. And if I use the little triangle on the left-hand side, You'll see that I have other access to other mailboxes, one of which is my online archive mailbox. And this will automatically be created for you when you get the uh, archive feature set up. It will also be available to you via Outlook Web Access. This is where emails go when they expire. Your administrator will have set a default policy for archiving information. Typically, this is two years. You can change this to another policy by folder. I'm going to change the policy on this folder to five years. So all I do is I click on the folder, up in my bar, make sure I'm in the home menu. So I'm going to change the archive policy on this action folder. To do that, I go up to the assign policy, say set folder policy, and under the online archive section of the dialog box, drop down the list, and instead of using the folder policy, I can choose one year, five years, or never. So in this case, I'm going to say this folder, I want to make sure to archive no sooner than five years. Then I apply that. Now this other folder, the read review folder, I want stuff to stay in there so it's always available right in my mailbox for me. So instead of doing the uh, five year, I'm going to actually tell it never to archive that information. So again, go to the assign policy, set the folder policy. And at this point, I'm going to choose never. And now that will never, the, even if I get an old email in there, it has no expiration date. So it will always be available in my mailbox. The nice part about the archive structure is as well is it looks just like your folder structure that you're used to. So as soon as a, an email expires within a particular folder, the system will automatically create the same folder in your archive mailbox and move only those items that have expired into that folder. So archiving is a convenient and automated way to keep your mailbox cleaner and more efficient while still having access to the old information you might need. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.